Russia's failure to rapidly seize Kyiv and overwhelm Ukrainian forces has deprived Moscow of the quick military victory that it had originally expected would prevent the United States and NATO from being able to provide meaningful military aid to Ukraine. And the Russians met with more resistance from Ukraine than they expected, and their own military's performance revealed a number of significant internal challenges, forcing them to adjust their initial military objectives, fall back from Kyiv, and focus on the Donbass. The next month or two of fighting will be significant as the Russians attempt to reinvigorate their efforts, but even if they are successful, we are not confident that the fight in the Donbass will effectively end the war. We assess President Putin is preparing for a prolonged conflict in Ukraine during which he still intends to achieve goals beyond the Donbass. We assess that Putin's strategic goals have probably not changed, suggesting he regards the decision in late March to refocus Russian forces on the Donbass as only a temporary shift to regain the initiative after the Russian military's failure to capture Kyiv. And his current near-term military objectives are to capture the two oblasts in Donetsk and Luhansk with a buffer zone, encircle Ukrainian forces from the north and the south to the west of the Donbass, in order to crush the most capable and well-equipped Ukrainian forces who are fighting to hold the line in the east, consolidate control of the land bridge Russia has established from Crimea to the Donbass, occupy Kherson, and control the water source for Crimea, that is to the north. And we also see indications that the Russian military wants to extend the land bridge to Transnistria. And while the Russian forces may be capable of achieving most of these near-term goals in the coming months, we believe that they will not be able to extend control over a land bridge that stretches to Transnistria and includes Odessa without launching some form of mobilization. And it is increasingly unlikely that they will be able to establish control over both oblasts and the buffer zone they desire in the coming weeks. But Putin most likely also judges that Russia has a greater ability and willingness to endure challenges than his adversaries, and he is probably counting on U.S. and EU resolve to weaken as food shortages, inflation, energy prices get worse.